So you may have seen this in an old video of mine. I bought it last year at the car boot sale. I think I paid 15 or I think maybe 10 or 15 pounds for it. It's a 144 hertz uh, monitor. I don't know what the aspect ratio is, but 1080p. But it's one of these uh, fancy Asus monitors, basically. When you turn it on, it doesn't work, basically. So, so I've had it listed on eBay for a while now for 30 quid. And the thing is with eBay, if, you, if I'm selling it for anything less than 30 quid, it's just not worth it to sell it. So for me, I wanted, you know, to at least get 30 pounds and probably been a few months now, hasn't sold. So the plan is now, I want to take a look inside it. I haven't really looked inside a, mod a modern monitor for a while. So I want to see what's inside it. And then since it powers up and everything and just the screen is damaged, I'm wondering if I can just remove the screen, bin the screen, and then scrap the rest, as in sell it the parts of this on eBay. I've had a lot of success in the past of buying IMAX. So if you have a look here, got an IMAX there. I've got another one there. Also got another one down there. So I've got a few IMAX. I've got another IMAX over there. There's an IMAX screen there. There. So yeah, so I've had a, I've had quite a bit of success buying IMAX in the past and then parting them out. So obviously Apple stuff is expensive and hard to get hold of. So people always buy it. But I'm thinking an Asus gaming monitor, maybe people will buy this. So yeah, maybe I could sell the stand for example for 15, but let's take a look at the ele electronics inside. So I'm hoping exactly like this, that everything has a part number. If all of the stuff that Asus have used, all of it has a part number, that will make selling it easy. Oh, okay. That just comes off. Literally just one screw holding that. So I can list that and then that will sell as a small parcel. So if this sells now, sell it for a tenner, that will, this will be a good a good sell. The last year I did really well buying stuff from car boot sales for cheap like this and then parting them out. Off one, off just one iMac, I made like £120, and which I paid £5 for. And on a Packard Bell computer, which I took about, I paid £25 for it. I was hoping that one would work. But I ended up making like 80 from that. 90, 100, something like that. Alright, so. Is this going to tighten? No. Oh, okay, of course. <laughs> Obviously it's not going to tighten. Uh, maybe I could put a ball on that. But yeah, anyways, I'll list that on eBay as is. Probably list that for 9 99 Or maybe, probably, it's not, it's not. Point is selling it for less than 10 quid. I think maybe 15, go 15. Whoever needs it is gonna need it. My my philosophy with all of this stuff is just take off as many screws. <laughs> take Remove every screw you see. Okay, so that's the plate removed. And then on the inside, there's nothing really on the inside there. So. Okay, so basically we have the face amount, the whole face amount actually off, which is nice. Oh, I probably shouldn't turn it like this on my table because I'm scratching the the screen. And I mean, I don't obviously I can't sell the screen because the screen's broken. But I could sell just this front plate here. But ugh, already I've scratched it out like a dumbo. Let me put that on my blue mat. There we go. I'm thinking I'll be able to get the most amount of money for the motherboard of this because the monitor itself is like a hundred and. 50 pounds or whatever. I think I saw, I saw them selling for like 100 pounds, 120 pounds, 150. So if I can sell the, look at that straight off. There we go, nice. So I'm probably gonna stick this back on there and screw that on and then sell this as one part as well. So here you go, you can see you've got these little indents here. This is to get the back plate off, so. Ah, actually, I just realized another thing I could possibly do is once I see what this screen is, I suppose the screen's probably the whole thing, but maybe I could just find the replacement of just this screen. Because I searched on eBay and Amazon for the monitor's screen. I can't believe I've just wrecked this. Look at that. I just completely ruined it. What an idiot. The monitor, I searched for whatever the name is, Asus, whatever the monitor name is, and I couldn't find anything, but... Usually, for example, Asus won't manufacture their own actual LCD display. It might be LG. So if it is actually like an LG screen or something, I could search for that and maybe buy that, just that screen itself for 40, 40 50 pounds. 
and then do the repair myself. So that might be another thing. So now would be a good chance to maybe stop being so abrasive and actually just, you know, maybe treat it with a bit more care. I say that as I continue to just pull as hard as I can. All right, front bezel off. Let's try and get this LCD display off. Okay, there we go. So it's just front plate, back plate. Even if you're, for example, not not uploading to YouTube, I really recommend if you're gonna start, if you're gonna repair stuff, so that's a flick up thing. If you're gonna repair stuff, then um, record a video of yourself doing it, because then you know you don't have to think really where stuff goes back. You can just rewatch the footage of what of where I pulled that, for example. So yeah, but yeah, I'll probably if you know I can't find a, a make for this screen, which. Uh, can't see one right now then you know i could even try and list this see if someone else has sold one recently so we'll put that aside that's the thing about parting out expensive stuff like i've sold imac speakers from 2007 for 20 pounds so okay i'm putting some cable i don't even know what the cable does firstly let's just see if i can remove this whole thing is it just put down by tape Okay, here we go. So a little pass by cover. Okay, well, both these things, I'm assuming, are working, right? So we've got the power supply, and then we've also got the... Okay, it's probably screwed on there. So if I remove this... Hmm. But anyways, yeah, so both these things are working, I assume, because when I turned it on, the power supply worked fine. And the screen actually worked like when I when I connected my laptop to it and then I moved the mouse around you could see on the screen the thing moving it was just that obviously the display itself was was damaged so let me leave this in there for now I want to check what the screen is and then I want to um, see if I can buy a new one so screen is nice and lightweight Manufactured 1647, so 2016, I assume, maybe, I don't know. Uh, model M240HW01 version 8 V.8 AU Optronics. So let's see, let's go online and see if we can buy this actual screen. Because if we can, then, you know, it's jobs are good and really. Okay, so this is what's on the back of the, the LCD. M240HW01, and then I've got version 8. And the version 8 is probably the most important part, and I think... You know, very important when you're going through uh, putting in serial stuff, you want to make sure you're getting the right ones, right? So they've got like version one, version two, which is from like 2008, 2009. So be careful with that. What I found was this and I was very close to actually just buying this out. I was like, wow, 38 pounds, do it. But then it turns out this is actually version five, which wouldn't necessarily fit. So although it's 24 inch as well, the same, exactly the same AU Optronics, but... I think this is this is the one that we're we're gonna need basically, which is version eight, uh, one nine twenty by ten eighty. You can see one hundred sixty five pounds, which is crazy. So what I did find, which is actually you know, the correct thing, is here you got the model number and then V eight twenty four inch, same thing. So let's just check if it has one hundred forty four hertz. Okay, so no mention of the hertz. But anyways, have a look. So you can see that the two connectors down there exactly the same. So it's not not the best picture, but look, you know, sixty five pounds. Ah, the shipping there. So there you go. So that for me, that just kills it. You know, I I did take a fair bit of look on on eBay, and you know, couldn't find anything. Really, look, you know, you got this version five one, and then the version eight ones. This is VB for some reason, but. Version 8, 135, 138. So these screens are very, very expensive, sadly. Yeah, so it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get a replacement screen for this. So I think the best thing to do would probably be to just buy it out. You know, just sell the, the power supply and the motherboard. So here it says Alibaba, £63. Let's check it out. One to four pieces, source now. Oh, that's the exact same picture. It's going to be the same shipping cost, isn't it? $85 shipped to the United States to be negotiated. <laughs> yeah. I've never bought from Alibaba yet. I just, you know, the whole bulk stuff. 
Okay, so back over at the desk now. I think it's always difficult to try and decide whether or not you should part something out or not. Especially, you know, like, if you, like, I have this mindset where it's like, well, let me fix it. I, like, if it's electronics, why can't I fix it? Which, um, usually the limiting factor, uh, I can't get this off. Usually the limiting factor in me being able to fix it is my skill set. But that's why I'm doing this. Uh, hopefully one day. Ah oh, man. Yeah well. I might keep this actually because I actually short circuited the past by a couple months ago. And I could probably do with these kind of protective things. It doesn't really make sense for me to buy the screen for a hundred pounds because then I'm a hundred and fifty pound in or down on a screen I don't need. And at that kind of investment, you need to really be sure that you're going to make your money back. Especially because when you're selling on eBay, a thing that happens to me a fair bit. only It happens a lot only because I sell a lot on eBay. But, like, you know, with tech stuff, people will buy it off you and then swap out the part that they need and send it back to you. And that's why you'll find a lot of listings on eBay will say... Uh, serial numbers noted down etc or all things marked but that doesn't protect you at all because as long as the customer says i don't know what he's talking about you know i I didn't swap it out da, 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 and they argue against against you with ebay ebay will always side with the customer so in that instance it just isn't worth it for you to sell stuff you know that okay you know my profit margin here is small so if i if i sell this power supply now for 20 pounds and the person scams me i just move on i take it as like you know probably i'd say fuck maybe three four or five in a hundred are gonna scam you just you know you have to just bake that into your profit margins basically which sucks because basically you know that means that everybody else has to pay a higher price but it is what it is all right so i've got to push these okay Oh yeah, this this port is also screwed in, I think, with these. And this is what I mean by, you know, like, practice gets you better, because even these ports, I spent, the first time I did this, I can't remember what machine I was doing it on, but I spent about an hour just trying to get this out and being like, what the hell, man? But I have this mentality where I'm like, okay, look, you know, I'm learning, and so because I'm learning, everything's going to take a lot longer than it should. And that's how I am at the moment with my soldering. My soldering is so bad, and it takes me so long. Okay, I must be missing something. Am I blind? Okay, so let's look for the weak point here, which is causing the problem. So, these ports are causing the problem. This is lifting up. This part over here is not lifting up. Okay, I can see some. Ah, man. Look at that. Ah, look at that. Sliced off so much skin. Ah. First aid kit again. Look at that, yeah. That's literally, <laughs> that's literally my skin. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, I'm a dad, and so I have, like, a big first aid kit in my car, and the amount of times I've had to use it as a joke, like, my kids constantly hurt themselves. And so, I also keep this little tiny first aid kit here. I got it off um, either eBay or Amazon for, like, £2, so, and it's got a bunch of stuff in it. I definitely advise you, and I've got another one downstairs, and I've got a big one in my car, so definitely keep... <laughs> A first aid kit next to you. <laughs> oh man, honestly. Absolutely kills. Okay, anyways. So what happened was, you can see those clips on the side there. I was just thinking maybe they're holding it down. And then for some reason, I don't even know how, but my hand was there. The amount of skin that came up was a joke. Okay. I'm stuck now. I've got no idea how to... Oh, there you go. I don't understand 
what was holding that thing up. I don't get it at all. But anyways, <laughs> it's out. <sighs> Alright, now, uh, power supply. So we've got like these hooks here holding it on and then this should just lift up. Okay, so this just popped up. So now that that's come off there, now I should be able to, there you go. Ah, my finger, oh dear. Okay, there we go. So we finally got there. Um, we've got our motherboard for our, or the main board. And then this is our power supply. Okay, so now we get to see if this whole thing was worth it, if my sacrifice was worth the pain. <laughs> so let's see how much these two are selling for. Because although obviously I'm planning on still selling, you know, this, uh, whatever it's called, button thing for the screen and also selling the bottom plate, maybe this, but this is quite heavy. So maybe, maybe not, but we'll see how much those go for. But I am planning on selling those, but I'm not going to make like, I'm, I'll barely, I'll just break even basically on the 15 pound I spent, which is not worth it. I wouldn't, I would prefer to just bin the whole thing. So if I can get, you know, 30, 40 pounds for these two, then the whole thing's worth it. Kind of, <laughs> I wouldn't let you cut my finger for 40 quid, but yeah, hopefully the whole thing will be worth it. Cool. Let's check on the computer. All right, so let's start off with the motherboard. So I've typed in what's on the front of the motherboard as opposed to what's on the back, which is just like a barcode. So the front of the motherboard reads 4H.1YDO1.AOO. And so that's what I've searched in for this. I found some people that were selling it previously. You can tell that from Google Images where they basically display really old like eBay listings and stuff, especially this link here, picklick.com. But as for finding one that's currently for sale, I haven't been able to find one at all. So for power supplies, I usually do a lot better just because I assume that it's easier for you to break a power supply than it is for you to actually break the motherboard in your monitor. So, so power supplies usually sell a lot better. Now, I've searched through eBay and I couldn't find anything other than just this one board listed. So everything else is kind of like, you know, similar boards, etc. And that's the thing, you know, probably if you're, you know, if, you, if you're decent at soldering and understand what you're doing with connectors, you probably could botch fit some of these suppliers into other ones. But anyways, found this one listed for 51 pounds, like 60 something dollars in the US. So that's that one board. And then I also found, looks like someone they've sold, if I'm not mistaken, the same one, right? 51 pound 84. So what's probably happened is either this person has two of them or multiple, or they've sold it on the 16th of February, so a month ago, and then it's been returned, which again, like I said, happens quite a lot. They pulled out from Asus there. Yeah, so I'm not convinced that this power supply is going to sell well either. It just seems to me like neither of these, this is some great pictures by this person, but it seems like neither of these um, are really going to sell. So I'm going to list them both for $19.99 and just kind of hope for the best. They're both fairly small, don't, don't take up that much space. And I've already got like a few drawers of listed PCBs and stuff that I have on eBay. Out of curiosity, let's just check what we can get for the base plate and the stand for the monitor. So we've got two people or two listings for the stand listed currently for £20, £25. Let's check if any of us sold. Someone sold one for £26, another, someone else sold one for £33. That's really good, to be honest. Someone actually sold the whole monitor without a stand for £57. That's a bargain. That is an absolute bargain. I would have bought that. <laughs> now, I'm not entirely sure if this is worth it. Now, I had the whole entire monitor listed for £30. So, I suppose probably it is worth it to list the stand as a whole one base unit for £25. Yeah, I think I'll do that as well. Yeah, let's do that. So, that will put us up to a total of 20 40 £65. Yeah, let's go with that. So if I do manage to sell all of this for 65 pounds, I'll be very happy, you know. Um, 
Okay, so this connector is attached to the board, it seems. Yeah, hard soldered to the board. So we leave that connector on there. These, we're gonna connect these two together. So, although this is gonna make it a bit more, hmm, make it more likely to get damaged in storage, to be honest. Connect that in there. So is this worth it? I, I, I've, I've, said, I've mentioned this before on my channel that, you know, for me, if I was interested in it, I'm not, I'm not particularly motivated by money, so I'm not really that interested in it. But this is a, this would be a very good business idea, you know, for you to purchase, you know, for I found I've done well on it, and I'm obviously a complete novice, you know. But for you to go around purchasing, you know, broken stuff like I see it all the time on Facebook, you know, smashed screen, and people are just like, well, who would what? Like, you know, I'll just list this smashed screen or. I've got no need for it but you know once you've taken it apart obviously you've maybe got some recycling to do like you know you've got this big plate of plastic that needs to go to the junkyard or recycling center you also got the broken screen as well the metal is easy enough to get rid of because where I live there's always a, a bunch of metal uh, scrap metal guys that drive around in their uh, vans they always come through probably see them like once every two weeks or something so They'll take all of the metal for free, no problems. Plastic is the pain to get rid of. I've also got these speakers, which I might try and list them, see how these these do. Although I can't imagine that they'll be worth much. I might actually just keep them to use in a project myself. But yeah, so I paid 15 for the monitor and I actually, I paid that thinking that it was working. Not really thinking it was working, but trusting the person because the, when I bought it at, the, at a car boot sale, the person said it's working and uh, obviously you shouldn't believe people but I did kind of but so 15 pound down you know if I would have done this without recording the video and without stabbing myself let's say you know like half an hour of work you still obviously got to ship it to list it on eBay and ship it to the person but listing on eBay is super easy to do Especially because there's already people that have listings already, so you just copy their listing. Alright, the only other thing I want to do is I just want to put this kind of back together. So this this is going to be probably the least profitable thing to sell. But it's also probably least likely to be returned as well. Because physical electronics, you're way more likely to get them returned. I'm thinking the way that I'm going to do it is... I think what makes sense to do is to ship it to them as two separate pieces. But when I take the picture, I take the picture of it, like for the listing, all together in one piece like that. But then let them know that it's going to come, you know, like this. And so I'll take another picture of it like this and have it down and say, look, you know, I will be shipping this to you like this. It's quite heavy because it is face amount, but that's fine. Oh, there's also a connector here, actually. For the screen i should probably include that is this on the power supply i think it is on the power supply isn't it it must be if it's for the screen and it's not an lbds cable it probably goes in there cool yeah so um hopefully you guys enjoyed this one i'm i think probably i'm gonna <laughs> this is gonna be like some sort of series because i've got a whole bunch of stuff that i need to decide whether or not i'm going to what's it called Repair it or scrap it. Oh, no, repair or part out. What's a good name? Like part out or repair. Welcome back to part out or repair. I don't know. Something like that. All right. Anyways, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to put this back together, list it all on eBay. And then, yeah, hopefully we can. So £65 uh, listed, you know, after fees, postage, you're looking at probably about £40 left over, minus the 15 I paid for it. £25 plus a little bit of, or £25 profit plus a little bit of experience getting better at this stuff. All good for me. I'm happy with that. See you guys in the next one.